Hey everybody! Today I am thrilled to share with you my newest video. I updated my fireplace wall with a French inspired mantle for the holidays. Usually I hang my stockings on a table or a bar and it's such a bummer. Those days are over and this year I have installed my own DIY fireplace mantle and I'm going to show you how you can get it in your house. But first, I want to send a shout out to all my new subscribers and a super warm hello to all my loyal subscribers. Hey, you guys. If you are new to my channel and this is the first time watching my video, please feel free to click the subscribe button. I'd love for you to stick around and become a member of the Almond Summers family. Oh, and don't forget to click the notification bell right next to it. It will notify you every time I upload a new video. Um, if you guys are following me on social media, you will see I started with this fireplace. I took the, the glass off and now I'm going to take the whole thing out because I need to find out where my studs are. So follow me on my social media accounts, you guys. You know how much I love Amazon. Well, I got my own little Amazon shop. You guys have to check it out. And that's where I will also leave links for products that I use in my videos. You can also click the follow me plus sign button once you get that, to that link and follow me on Amazon. Do you know you can always find the links for everything I use in my videos right underneath this video in the description area. I purchased the 72 inch wooden mantle as well as the 52 inch fireplace surround mantle kit legs. Those are two separate items. These are wooden legs and um, it also comes with two wooden legs, two baseboards and one board that goes across the front which is the skirt. Initially, I wasn't a fan of fluted legs for my fireplace mantle. The legs actually have the little long, see the long dips in the wood. Um, I didn't really want that. I wanted mine to be more plain and simple, but I couldn't really find it, so I just went with it. If you don't know, most of the fireplaces generally are made of stone and, and not wood, so it's really hard to find something that you want that's made of wood that can be easily manipulated, whether you want to cut it shorter, make it bigger, you know, anything like that. The mantle kit also comes with these two mounting boards, which we will attach the legs to later on in the video. So here are the items you're going to need. You're going to need some wood glue. You're going to need some drywall nails that are super long. Get this, the three inch uh, drill, of course, the pink power drill, the cute one, and a level because you're going to have to make sure that it's straight on your wall and a stud finder because you have to find out where you're going to mount that board to on the wall and lastly this fun little tool which is generally called a five in one tool but we're going to call it a 14 in one for today okay you guys so the first thing we're going to do is pry off this baseboard as as nicely as possible it's always easiest to score it first to remove the caulk than to damage your wall so try to score it first and then gently pry it off the wall So the next thing we're going to do is use our fabulous stud finder to try to find out where the wood in the wall is located so that we can attach our actual mounting board to the wood inside of the wall. So I use my stud finder and afterwards I marked it with a pencil on the wall and uh, so that way I'll know where to attach my mounting board. Now this mounting board came, did not come with the kit. It usually does come with the kit, but I actually had to replace mine and buy a new one at Home Depot because mine was cracked when it came in the box with the mantle itself. Because generally they do come with a, a board inside of the, the mantle shelf. So this we're gonna just attach to the wall with the drywall screws. And um, I would recommend you drilling a hole first inside the wood before you actually mount it on the wall and measure where the screws are in the wall so that you can match them up and screw it directly in with no problem so that you don't risk cracking the wood. And then next up, we're going to put the, the smaller mounting boards that, are, that will hold the legs on the wall, but don't forget to use your stud finder to find out where the wood is in the back of the wall, and then pre-drill the holes, and then attach it using your drywall screws. Because these, these uh, mounting boards are actually going to be support for the legs. Now the kit only comes with one mounting board per leg. I actually went and bought another one because I just felt like it would be much stronger if each side had two legs, so I went with the two legs on each side. Mm -hmm. 
And next up, I attach the legs. There are several ways you can attach the legs. Um, I chose not to use the method that the instruction says, which is use a nailer and use uh, brad nails to actually attach it to the side wood. I didn't do that because I knew I was gonna cover up, and I still know that I'm gonna cover up the actual leg, fluted legs um, later. So I just went ahead and used screws to attach them. You can use um, a, a nailer, which is a cleaner look. Um, but I'm not going to do that because I'm definitely going to cover this up because I don't I'm not a fan of the fluted look So but for now just for Christmas, I'm going to leave it and um, we're going to work it work with it that way However, I'm just going to put the disclaimer out there. I am not a professional So I'm doing this because I like it and you know, that's all that matters <laughs> But so far, so good. I went ahead and put the glass back inside the fireplace and put everything back together. So the only thing we have to do now is put the mantle up. Isn't she beautiful, you guys? And it's very well made. Whoever, the company that made this um, mantle did an excellent job. It's very well made. This The wood is smooth. It is just a beautiful piece of wood. It is rather heavy. The instructions, here again, I didn't use the instructions. I actually did my own thing. It says attach the mantle to the mounting board using finishing nails. I'm not gonna do that because, again, I am unsure if I'm gonna keep this, if I even like this look, or if I'm gonna go back to my flat wall, maybe in a year or so. And basically, you're supposed to use the wood glue onto the mounting board, and then use your finishing nails to actually uh, hang the mantle up. I chose to use wood screws because I don't know if I'm gonna actually keep this mantle up or take it down. So I use screws so it'll be easy for me to remove just in case I change my mind and want to go back to my original wall. Another thing would be to fill in the gaps that you see um, between the wall and the actual mantle legs as well as the mantle itself. You can add some caulk to actually make it, you know, a seamless look. But again, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this, I'm not gonna do that yet. And if I do do it, I will definitely go back and, and retrace these steps and do it correctly. You know what, you guys? Doesn't it look super cute, natural, like the natural wood? I was so tempted to keep it its natural color because the natural wood color just really, really stood out and just looks so fabulously cute to me. But I love my white. So this is the fun part about doing DIYs is the actual painting and painting the baseboards, the wall, adding molding, adding corbels, adding all the fancy bells and whistles that go with any DIY project. That's the fun part for me. I don't like the part where I have to lose every single fingernail in order to make a project look amazing, but it's so worth it in the end, you guys. I must say it just looks so good in the end. I'm super happy with it, yay! It looks so cute to me. I really, really like it and I, I, I really, like the height of it. I know some people are like, ah, oh, it's too high for a fireplace. Ah, yeah, 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 whatever. I like it. I think it's, it's it, if you add some, um, you can add some marble, some tile, add a hearth, you know, add some molding. There's, I mean, there's endless possibilities that you can do to make this mantle your own. You know, and so I chose to go with the French inspired look by adding, you know, a little bit more ornate molding. And uh, I think that's more my style. Or you can just leave it as is. You don't even have to touch it. So let me say this before I forget. Um, I actually chose to use chalk paint to paint this. I know that is a little bit odd, but I just found much success with chalk paint for some reason lately. I have been loving it and I just don't. I like it because I'm not getting like, uh, it's easy to wipe off, that is one of the reasons. But I use the same chalk paint that I used on my uh, panels in my bedroom. So if you guys remember the panel, the decorative panels I put on the wall with the white, it's just, I don't know, it just worked for me. At the end of the day, I think you're supposed to use like a nice, a nicer paint that's like either shiny or whatever. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. So um, for now, I'm just gonna do this because I know I have Christmas coming and I'm gonna be attaching a bunch of pine and all that other stuff that might scratch it up and I'm just gonna leave it right like this for now so that I just don't get upset if semi-gloss paint hasn't cured yet or whatever. So I need this fireplace to work for Christmas. So we're just gonna keep it like that. But you can use whatever paint you want. At the end of the day, it's your decision. That's it, you guys. If you are looking for a place to hang your stockings this holiday season, I do hope this video has inspired you. 
And as always, thank you so much for watching. Do share this video with your friends and don't forget to rate this video and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.